In a world where love often feels fleeting, these stories remind us of its enduring power. From small acts of kindness to grand gestures of love, these tales will touch your heart and leave you believing in the power of love. Hello there. Today, I'm diving into a topic that's as universal as it is personal. Love. We've all heard advice about love. What to look for in a partner. How to know if someone truly loves you. And what love really means. From the way their eyes light up when they see you to the little things they do that show they care. Love is often expressed in subtle yet profound ways. In this chat. I'm sharing some of the best advice I've ever heard about love, from falling in love with someone's eyes to the actions that speak louder than words. These stories remind us that love is not just a feeling. It's a verb, something we choose to do every day through our actions and how we treat each other. So, grab a seat, and let's explore the many facets of love together. Advice number one. All right. Let's dive deeper into this advice about falling in love with someone's eyes. Ed Sheeran's grandma really hit the nail on the head with this one. She said, when looking for a partner, fall in love with their eyes. Because eyes are the only things that don't age. So if you fall in love with their eyes, you'll be in love forever. Think about it. The eyes can reveal so much about a person. It's not just about the color or shape. It's about the way they look at you. Have you ever caught someone's eye and felt like they could see right into your soul? That's the kind of connection that lasts a lifetime. When someone looks at you with love and admiration in their eyes, it's like they're saying, I see you, I understand you, and I love you for who you are. It's a feeling that words alone can't describe. So, the next time you're getting to know someone, Pay attention to their eyes. If they make your heart skip a beat and you feel like you could get lost in him forever, you might just have found someone special. Advice number two. All right, let's talk about love and actions. Words are nice and all, but it's what people do that really shows how they feel. Take it from my own experience. I was with this great artist for 14 years. He painted me celebrated me, but when I needed him most, he left for a younger girl. Then there was this guy who sang my praises to everyone, but when I got sick, he vanished because he found someone else. But then I met David. When I fell ill again, he didn't just stay. He moved to take care of me and my mom. He's my rock, my Prince Charming. He doesn't just say he loves me. He shows it every day. So, if you're wondering if someone really loves you, look at what they do, not just what they say. Love is a verb, and actions speak louder than words. It's about being there when it's tough, not just when it's easy. So, if you've got someone who's there for you no matter what, hold on to them tight. That's real love, my friend. Advice number three. Let's talk family love. It's not always easy to see, but it's there, in the little things they do. Like when your sister is your biggest cheerleader, celebrating your wins like they're her own. Or when your dad never gets jealous of your success and only wants the best for you. Family love is when your brother stands up for you, even if he's not one to argue. It's when your mom forgets her own favorite dish, but always remembers yours. It's when your happiness becomes their happiness, and they're always there to support you, no matter what. So, if you're wondering if your family loves you, look at the way they treat you. It's not always about grand gestures, it's about the everyday moments that show they care. Family love is special, and it's something to be grateful for. Advice number four. Here's a piece of advice that really hits home. Real love is about wanting the best for someone, even if it means you don't get the best bits yourself. I remember my mom always giving me the ends of the baguette when she made me a sandwich. I didn't really like them, but she insisted because she loved them and wanted me to have the best part. So, 
If someone in your life is always looking out for you, making sure you get the best bits, even if it means they miss out, that's love, my friend. It's about putting someone else's happiness before your own, and that's pretty darn special. Next time someone gives you the best part of the baguette, remember, it's not just about the bread. It's about the love that goes into it. Advice number five. All right, here's some advice that really makes you think. My mother used to give me the ends of baguettes when she made me a sandwich. I didn't really like them, but I never complained. One day, she kept the nice inside bit for herself and gave me the ends again. I thought, why would she do that? Then it hit me. She was showing me love by giving me the best bits, even if she preferred them herself. So, real love is when someone would rather you have the best bits, even if they don't get them. It's about wanting the best for you, even if it means they miss out. It's a selfless act that shows how much they care. Next time someone gives you the best part of the sandwich, remember, it's not just about the food. It's about the love behind it. And that kind of love is truly special. Advice number six. All right, let's talk about love in the wee hours of the morning. It's 3 a.m. and your phone rings. It's him telling you his bus stopped for a few minutes and he just had dinner. You're half asleep, but his voice wakes you up like nothing else. You can hear him munching on something and you ask what it is. He says it's a packet of dry fruits he picked up at a stall. You love dry fruits, so you ask him to bring some for you. He hesitates, saying it's cold and he doesn't want to leave his seat. Disappointed, you let it go, knowing he loves comfort. You tell him you love him, and you can almost hear him smiling in the cold darkness. You go back to sleep, waiting for the next day when you'll be in his arms. The next day, he hands you a small packet of dry fruits. A little bit of love, unexpressed affection, and boundless joy. That, my friend, is love. It's in the little gestures, the early morning calls, and the shared moments of vulnerability. It's wanting to make someone happy, even in the smallest ways. Advice number seven. Let's dive into some real-life moments that show deep love and care. Imagine this. Your dad is fighting for his life, and your brother calls you right after hearing the news. You're in shock and start sobbing, feeling overwhelmed by the thought of losing him. Your brother calmly reassures you, promising to be there for you whenever you need him. He believes your dad is waiting to say goodbye to you because he loves you the most. He books your train ticket to the hospital and is already there waiting for you when you arrive. No words are needed. He just grabs you and gives you a hug. This is the same brother who once drove three hours to set up your TV after you hurt your back lifting it. That, my friend, is true love. It's not always about grand gestures. It's about being there in the toughest moments, showing unwavering support and care. Family love is special, and it's moments like these that remind us how lucky we are to have such amazing people in our lives. Advice number eight. Let me tell you a story about my mom and her hair. She always wore it teased really high, like they did in the 1950s and 60s. My brother and I used to joke that we could always find her in a store by looking for her hair floating above the aisles. But there's more to this story. In 2002, I went through a devastating divorce. I was alone in a new state, trying to figure out my life. My mom, who was afraid of flying, rode a Greyhound bus for 15 hours to come and stay with me. She was there for me during one of the darkest times of my life, offering comfort and support when I needed it most. As she left to go back home, I had a moment of clarity. I stood there, watching her bus drive away, and realized that for the first time, I was the one being left behind. It was a powerful moment that showed me just how much my mom loved me. So, remember, 
Love is not just about words. It's about actions. It's about being there for someone when they need you. Even if it means stepping out of your comfort zone. And that, my friend, is the truest form of love. Advice number nine. Let's talk about family love. The kind that's always there, no matter what. I've never seen my dad go on romantic walks or give my mom fancy gifts, but I've seen him take care of her in ways that truly show his love. When my mom is sick, my dad takes her to the hospital and to temples, even though he's an atheist. He may not say, I love you, often, but his actions speak louder than words. He buys groceries, vegetables, and other essentials always putting the family's needs first. It's been 30 years since they got married, and their love is stronger than ever. It's not about grand gestures, it's about the everyday things they do for each other. So, if you're wondering if your family loves you, look at the way they treat you. It's not always about what they say, it's about what they do. Family love is unconditional and it's something to be grateful for every day. Advice number 10. Let's talk about how to spot love in action. One surefire sign. They can't get enough time with you. Like, when you're on the phone, and they just want to keep talking, even if it's late. They're protective of you, too. Always scanning for threats when you're out together, or staying close to you in a crowd. But the real giveaway, their eyes light up when they look at you. It's like you're the best thing they've ever seen, and they can't get enough of you. You know that look when you walk by, and they're just mesmerized. That's the look of love, my friend. So, if you're wondering if someone loves you, look at how they act. If they're always there for you, protective of you, and can't take their eyes off you, chances are, they're head over heels. Love isn't just a feeling. It's in the way they treat you, and how they make you feel special every day. Alright, let's wrap this up. Love is a funny thing, isn't it? It's not always about grand gestures or big declarations. Sometimes, it's the little things that mean the most, the way someone looks at you, the way they care for you, the way they make you feel special. From falling in love with someone's eyes to realizing that real love is about actions, not just words, these stories remind us that love comes in many forms. Whether it's the love of a partner, family member, or friend, it's the moments of connection and care that truly matter. So, if you're ever in doubt about whether someone loves you, just look at how they treat you. If they're there for you, support you, and make you feel cherished, then you've found something special. And remember, love is something we should all strive to give and receive every day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed these stories, please subscribe to our channel for more heartwarming content. Goodbye and have a wonderful day.